Welcome back. A recent study has shown that a worrying number of South Africa's primary school children can't read for meaning. In 2015, the National Reading Sector Strategy was launched by the Basic Education Department. The strategy aims to improve reading and to increase literacy levels in South Africa. To speak to us more on this strategy, I'm now joined by the CEO of the National Education Collaboration Trust, Dr. Godwin Corsa. Dr. Corsa, thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight this evening. Uh, can you tell us, first of all, what progress has been made since 2015 uh, in implementing that strategy? Well, there's been a, a, a number of, uh, you know, developments that uh, happened in the sector, obviously driven by the Department of Basic Education, which comprises the national department and its nine uh, provincial departments. So it's important to take into account that the machinery includes uh, another 75, you know, districts uh, distributed across those nine provinces and about 25, four to 25,000 schools. So all that, would, all that what was done, you know, uh, happened between, you know, those levels. Um, there has been an extensive level of teacher training on how to teach reading. Much of that has been in uh, teaching reading in English language, and unfortunately less so on uh, African languages, which our country was tested alongside other countries in the world to establish the extent to which our learners or kids can read with understanding. Now, the results uh, of that international re reading literacy study uh, released uh, in May this year demonstrated a 3% drop in reading for meaning scores in grade 4 learners since 2016. Um, how has this necessitated the sector to reconsider that original strategy and be a little bit more flexible in terms of implementation to make sure that we meet the goals that we've set? So working very closely with the Department of Basic Education, we, we have established, you know, how the lessons learned uh, between 2015 and now have actually been considered up to a point where the Department of Basic Education, together with its uh, partners such as teacher unions and academics, as well as NGOs, reconsidered the, the reading improvement you know, strategy. Um, one such big change has been in mainstreaming the areas that the strategy focuses on. Uh, the initial strategy focused on 10 areas, which have now been, uh, the areas have been reduced to about four, um, with uh, three other cross-cutting uh, supporting areas. Those four areas uh, include uh, policy. You know that in government, things get done if there's a policy that clearly states what and how things have to be done. So the first area that uh, there are improvements uh, in is the area of, folk, I mean, area of policy. The second one is teacher development. Of course, the 2015 strategy had a teacher development you know, element. Experts in teacher development have now met twice in about a total of four days, considering how teacher development can be improved uh, in order to improve the level with which our, our young people can read uh, for meaning. The third area is uh, LTSM, which stands for Learner Teacher uh, Materials, uh, Support Materials. This includes reading materials for uh, the, the learners as well as materials that are used by teachers to guide them how they get to teach uh, the, the, um, to teach reading in, in classrooms. So again, um, this time around, experts in materials have been put together. We have looked at gaps in as far as LTSM is concerned. And one of those gaps is the undersupply and oftentimes inappropriate, supply of inappropriate material to, to learners reading in different languages which is a factor of uh, many other complex, you know, complexities, including who writes, who produces, at what costs, and how those are provided and how they're procured by, by the state and, the, and put into the classrooms ultimately. So all of those have been considered, reconsidered by the experts and suggestions have been made on how to take that forward. The last one is community and parent support. Because, you know, reading would improve if it's reinforced from home. Um, right from the levels of expressing to our young people that reading is important as well as sitting with them and reading with them on an ongoing basis.
Um, so those are the four areas that, uh, you know, um, the, the strategy focuses on. It is supported by a stronger reconsidered monitoring and evaluation, which actually has a recommendations on how the improvement of reading has to be monitored and evaluated from the levels of classrooms, from the levels of districts and, and circuits and provinces to see to it that every level does what it's supposed to do in order to improve this reading. And then partnerships as well as advocacy. Communication will have to be very, very important because everybody must come behind uh, this initiative to improve reading. Mm. It seems that reading in English seems to be the metric, uh, but what about reading in African home languages? Has that been a priority for the education sector so far? So it, it has been a priority for the education sector. And um, the reason uh, um, English was prioritized is because it was quicker to design material and resources and to set up systems to get going with the improvement of reading in English, uh, as opposed to um, developing materials and getting those processes on, you know, off the ground in the nine African languages. So, you know, these materials and approaches and so on, you can't copy them from one language to the other. You gotta have to develop them for each and every language because each of these languages have their own peculiarities, which have to be taken into account in the designs and, and, and training. So now, um, and following a collaboration between the NECT and the Department of Basic Education, as well as some academics and unions and NGOs, we have, developed from 2018 and piloted material in all the nine African languages that would help teachers teach reading in African languages. What is left is to roll those out to all our 24,000 schools and support teachers to adopt these new methodologies to improve reading in, uh, in African languages. So teaching is, is a very specific thing. It's an incredible skill. Um, and you've talked extensively about teacher training. Um, are there specific methods of teaching children how to read that differ from, let's use, for instance, English to Xhosa to Afrikaans that would need to be adapted in that teacher training? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an education development specialist and not a reading specialist, but obviously with interest in, in reading as well. I have listened very, very attentively to discussions and advices from reading specialists. Um, there are very interesting complexities that are being unearthed on how to teach reading in African languages. Um, they, they, I was surprised actually to learn that even in the teaching of English, there are methodologies that are moving away from what they call sight words. So like in English, for your grade three, there will be 200 ways that every learner must know. Uh, so they, they actually wouldn't read those words. They will just look at them and know that that's boy. So it's a side, side words. I'm told by reading experts that um, even in English, they are moving away from actually getting learners to just recognize the words by looking at them to, to um, building the, the, the expertise to decode the, 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 the words as they see them. So, um, that's more, even more important in African languages because African languages are, you know, I'm told by the experts that you, you, we shouldn't, in fact, you don't teach reading in African languages by using sight words and, and so forth. So there are complexities um, uh, and peculiarities between these languages which require, one, experts in reading, and secondly, experts in each of these languages to bring them to the fore and and suggest to teachers how to teach those particular languages. We have created a platform, you know, not for the first time, but we have now created a bigger platform for those who speak the language and those who actually specialize in teaching reading to get together to talk about this. Many a times, people who talk about reading are generalists. You know, they are people who know how to improve education or can assess and evaluate but do not know the dynamics of teaching reading, particularly in in, uh, in African languages. It's not an easy thing. It's a it's a it's a complex thing, and it also, to some extent, would have to do with lived experiences. So those who have spoken the language and have lived the experience, and will know how best to teach them. 
so great to hear that our strategy is being uh, adapted with the flexibility for the areas where we do need uh, improvement uh, and that we're looking at a future where our children uh, will, will you know, improve their reading skills. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. That was Dr. Godwin Corsa, CEO of the National Education Collaboration Trust.